Hello, my name is Saki Nishino. Today I'm going to introduce you to Kana's Kapai. But before I start, let me share a story. I have a younger sister whose name is Kana, and she has an intellectual disability. And one day, my sister got her salary, and I was curious how much she got, so I asked her. And she told me that she got 10,000 yen. She worked every day for one month, and she got only 10,000 yen. And I was so shocked, and based on my experience, I got this idea. And this happens very often for people with intellectual disabilities. One big cause of this problem is unemployment. So in Japan, there are 480,000 people from the age of 18 to 65 who have intellectual disabilities. Among those people, 75% are unemployed. And those who don't have a job usually work at job training facilities for people with disabilities. And on average, they get 15,000 yen per month, which is obviously not enough to live. And also, it's not only about their problems, but it's also a family's problem, because their family, family, especially their parents, have to support their children, after, even after children stop working. So this problem should be solved. Kana's Cafe will solve this problem. Kana's Cafe is a cafe staffed by people with intellectual disabilities. And we create job, op job opportunities for people with intellectual disabilities. And at the same time, we create great cafe experiences for our customers. And the reason why this specific solution is the best thing we could do is that it actually solves problems that two other groups have. The first group is customers. So I did online survey to 80 people and asked them if they care about issues that people with intellectual disabilities have. And 87% said, yes, we care about those issues. But when I asked them if they actually take actions, only 14% said, yes. And the reason why so many people don't take actions are no time, no opportunities, and don't know what to do. Which means that many people care about those issues, but they don't have enough motivation to do something. So for those people, Kana's Cafe is a perfect solution because what a customer needs to do is just buy a cup of coffee. The second group is companies. So in Japan, companies are placed to hire a certain number of people with physical or intellectual disabilities. And for private companies, the employment rate is 2%. However, more than 50% of companies have failed to achieve their employment rate. And if they fail to do that, they need to pay 50,000 yen per person per month. But I know that for many companies, hiring people with intellectual disability is a big challenge. So we'll help them. Kana's Cafe will be located in an office building or near the office. And companies will pay salary for our staffs with disabilities. But instead, companies can Say, can count our staffs as their employees so that they can meet the 2%. They, they do not need to do training or interviews because Kana's Cafe will do. And our trainers or managers uh, get paid by Kana's Cafe, so companies don't need to pay for them. So the business model is it's a simple business model. And our goal is not for profit, so we we'll be like non-profit organization. But we still need financial business model to make our cafe sustainable. So the relationship between, between customers and Kana's Cafe is like other cafes. We can approach them through online SNS or magazines. But the unique point is that we accept donations. For the next step, I need to gather members who will create the cafe with me. And also I will launch an online page to create a, to build a customer community. And finally, and the most important thing is to grow networks. So I, would, I need to meet people who can make big decisions for companies or, or who are in sales or department. So if you're one of those people or if you know those people, please come to talk to me today. So let's change the society with Kana's Cafe. Thank you very much.
Wow, that was great. Very awesome. Okay, so let's get into our Q and A. Just you and the judges. Um, that's a very, very, very nice uh, project, and that's not a project that we see that often uh, with this kind of social uh, responsibility um, mission. Uh, so good job on that, really. Uh, that's very impressive. Um, just to go into the, uh, I would say, the, the, the business model itself, uh, you said that you asked uh, people on the internet uh, why they were not taking actions and if they were feeling uh, engaged with that kind of uh, issues. So they would be more like the customers, right? But have you been in touch with companies to explain this, uh, this project? Um, I haven't been to talking with companies, but I meet one man who worked in CSL department and asked him, ask him what um, many companies are struggling with. And the big um, one thing is that companies don't know what to do even though they want to hire people with disabilities. So with kind of company, what company needs to do is just pay um, salary for our staff, so it's easy. Just to follow up on this, um, do, would you have a target in terms of type of companies already, or would you just target um, any companies? I have two targets. So one is that some companies have co-working spaces, like Yahoo or Recreate in Japan. So in those co-working spaces, they usually have carpet, so we can ask them to use the space. Or um, another target is some companies create um, special subsidiary to hire people with intellectual disabilities. So if I um, talk with companies who are interested in creating special subsidiary, I can talk with them and ask them to adopt my ideas. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation. I have two questions. The first one, are you planning to make it a chain store, or is it just a unique cafe? Um, I'm planning to make it a chain store. Um, first, I start with a like, co-working space or um, this small cafe, but after I get enough money to make a big cafe, I can make one in, like, for example, in Marinoji or Shinjuku, where many companies are. And we can make a one cafe, and some companies will pay for stuff so that um, many people can come there. Yeah, I mean, because chain store is, I think, the most important part of this model. And the second question is, uh, I think this model about companies paying for the staff that is working in the cafe is really good. Uh, but I think that not really going to help companies with their problem of hiring staff because, for example, if it's like Rakuten and they need to hire more staff uh, to their company, just because you have people in your cafe won't solve their problem because they cannot say that these are their employees, right? So probably you have to go not through the idea of like helping companies to hire more uh, people with disabilities but more into corporate social responsibility so that they are not directly hiring these people, right? But they now have the part of their budget that they invest into your cafe to hire these people. Is it clear or...? Um, can you say that question again? Uh, I'm afraid that I didn't ask actually the question. So, because you said that, I think it's just more of a comment. You said that you want to help companies to help them with the problem of employing uh, disabled people or people with disabilities, right? But the problem is that if they work in your cafe, it doesn't mean that they actually work for the company. Um, so I would make a system that when companies pay salary for our staff, they can count them as their employees. Oh, okay. Okay. So you want to kind of propose a new business model for companies? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so great idea, really cool. Um, I remember hearing about, about this before and uh, at first being uh, very kind of like vigilant in terms of like uh, business model, but you know, Japan's unique and there's actually a lot of opportunities here. So uh, one question, 
So you said you did the survey online and that 87% uh, of people uh, said that they were interested in helping out and, and, and so forth. I guess my biggest question is, is if you had a cafe, and, all, and I think there's a lot of opportunities for this because cafes are very expensive, but there's also like trucks and like portable cafes. There's actually a lot of ways to serve coffee. So the question I have though is, do you ever think that there would be an issue of discrimination? Meaning if someone, even though everyone said online, you know, had, you know, 80, yeah, sure, I would love to help out. Would people really want to go to a place that had people with disabilities working? Is there some sort of, could there be some sort of dis discrimination thinking they wouldn't get the best service? Or, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I, I understand it's a charitable cause, but would there be some sort of, and it's kind of a deeper question about like culture in Japan, but I guess, I, what do you think about that? So you mean the... Would they skip the cafe or the, the truck for Starbucks because they don't want to get served by someone with intellectual disabilities? while people with disabilities and without disabilities um, kind of get together and I I think it's one big challenge for me to um, create that kind of um, culture and family. Um, <coughs> uh, I see. So if you made it more like collaborative and so forth. I totally get it. I think what for Starbucks for instance, in Japan, Starbucks hire people with disabilities, so we can um, run it for Starbucks. How they do. I like Starbucks. <laughs> very good job, very good job.